everybody. Today we'll be walking our way through how to take an image or a list of images and convert it to a corresponding PDF. So this will be a continuation you can think of of last week's video. If you guys haven't watched that video, I'll leave a link to the description down below. But basically we covered how to take a PDF and convert it into a list of images. So what we are going to do is we're going to take last week's image, which is going to be this PNG right here, and we want to convert it back into the sample PDF. So in some ways it's easier in the sense of you don't have to install Poplar if you don't have it installed already. We're just going to need one more library. That's just going to be pip install image to PDF. Now I already have it installed, so it didn't reinstall it for me. However, if it's the first time installing, it should take about 30 seconds or so. So now let's get rid of that. And let's zoom in right here a little bit. So the first thing we want to do is we want to import the convert command. So from image to PDF, let's import convert. And there you go. And now let's create another function here. Let's actually put the function right on top of this one here. So let's call it def convert images, right? So now what are we gonna do in this function? Well, we can first imagine that we're gonna take all the images in a directory and convert those. So let's take an image directory path, right? So we'll call it image dir, and let's take a save dir, in this case here, because it's going to be a list of images that we are going to convert into one PDF, we should probably provide it a save name as well too. And then finally, just like converting from a PDF to an image, we need a resolution to convert from an image to a PDF. So in this case, let's also do 400 DPI, which stands for dots per linear inch. However, you can think of it as the higher the number, the greater the resolution. So the first thing we should do is let's create a list for all the images that we are going to have. Let's call it images to be processed and let's start it off as empty. And now let's also have some valid image extensions. So let's call them image extensions. Let's make this a set. And let's put all the extensions that we think are valid in here. So such as JPEG, PNG, so pretty much any extension that we would want to be processed, we want to have in here. And now we want to do is we want to iterate over our directory, look at all the files in the directory, any of these files extensions that match with one of our image extensions, we want to take that file and put it in the images to be processed. So we can do this for file in os.listdir inside of the image directory. And then we want to get the endings. So endings gonna equal file, we're gonna write split on the dot and we want to grab the very last one. We want to grab the very last ending and this is going to be our extension ending here and then we're going to have a check if ending in image extensions now we know it's an image so let's add it to our images to be processed so we're going to append it on there append file. So, so far what we've done is we've taken all the files in a directory, appended all the files that have a valid extension to images to be processed. And now we have a valid list of images that we want to process into the corresponding PDF. So we can do that by opening up the save name file in the save directory. So let's do with open and create an F string, save directory, save name, we want it to be in writable mode, so write bytes as PDF. So what this is going to do is if a file doesn't already exist in the save directory with the save name, it is going to create one and it's going to create it and open it in writable mode so we can write to this file here. And now simply we just want to write to this file. And what do we want to write? We want to write all the images in here. So this is where we take the convert command which we imported from the top here. And we're gonna pass in our images to be processed. And just as simple as that, our function is done. So just to go over, over what we've done so far, we passed in an image directory, a save directory and a save name. We iterate over all the files in the image directory and only pick out the ones that have the valid image extensions that we want. 
we add all those images into this images to be processed list. We then create a PDF with the provided save name in the save directory and write all the images to be processed in that directory itself. So one final thing left now is just to call it and see if it works. So let's do convert images. The first thing we want to pass is the image directory and let's pass that as the same as the save directory. And then we want to pass in the save directory, which is also going to be the same in this case here. And, and then we want to pass a save name. Let's call it test.pdf. And we're not going to change the image resolution and keep it at default 400. So now let's run it. It's now executed correctly. And we see now a file pops up here called test.pdf. And if we open test.pdf, it is the same image that we had in sample 0.png, which was the same PDF we got from sample.pdf. So now we've gone through the full cycle of converting a PDF to an image and then taking the same image and converting it back to a PDF. So we can see the multifunctionality behind this if we have a list of PDFs we want to grab all the images from, or if we have a list of images and want to convert it into a single PDF, we can do that very quickly and easily now. So hopefully you guys found this educational and useful. If you guys did, please consider liking and subscribing, and see you guys next time.